Hey guys, so this is my third video on books that um, I bought from the website Book Outlet, which is where you can find cheap books. I bought in both Bargain and Scratch and Dip books. They're really mixed in. So I'm going to go through and read them, uh, the backs of them one by one, and then also go over how much I paid versus how much they originally cost. And if they are scratch, scratched, scratch and dip book essentially, or just a normal bargain book. And that can kind of give you a clue on some of their prices of certain books and stuff like that. So, The Agency, A Spy in the House. Mm. This is book one, and I bought it as a scratch and dump book for $1.89. So there is a brown mark on the side, a black dot at the bottom, But overall, it looks great. Doesn't even really look used in any way. Then maybe that one little corner slipping up a little. But I mean, seriously, some of these scratch and dub books I just kind of laugh at. I mean, because literally they look so like new to me at least. So it says, "Sentence as a thief at the age of twelve, Mary Quinn is rescued from the gallows and taken to Miss." Shermuchois Academy for Girls. There, Mary acquires a singular education, fine manners, and a surprising opportunity. The school is the cover for the agency, a top secret corps of female investigators with a reputation for results. And at 17, Mary's about to join their ranks. She must work in the go goes for of a lady's companion to infiltrate a rich merchant's home with hopes of tracing his missing cargo ships. But the thr Thorhold household is full of dangerous secrets, and people are not what they seem, least of all Mary. Um, normally $8, and I got it for us as a scratch and dent book, $1.89. Now we have one moment in time. Before graduation, I promise to do something crazy. When the email arrives in Quinn Reynolds' inbox on the morning of her senior trip to Florida, she sends it straight to her trash folder. After everything that happened between her and her former best friend Ly Lila and Avon, the last thing Quinn needs is to be reminded of the pact they made back when they were still speaking, the one where they agreed to each do the thing that scared them most before graduation. The craziest thing she's ever done is to get highlights at a salon, and quite honestly, she doesn't feel the need to do something wild now or ever. But that's before everything on the trip goes wrong. Not only is Quinn forced to share a room with her ex-best friends, her real friends are nowhere to be found, and she just learned that she's been rejected from a dream school. So when Abraham, a local boy she met on the beach, asks her to hang out, she says yes. After a lifetime of playing it safe, Quinn figures that she might as well get a little wild. After all, what does she have to lose? But while on vacation, romance could be the best way to fulfill the pact, it might be the worst thing for her heart. It's normally ten dollars, and I got it for as a scratch and dip dent book for one dollar and eighty nine cents. So there's a black mark at the bottom. I don't see this corner is a little messed up. And there's a little riff right there, but as a whole, oh, and I bend right there. As a whole, though, it's really good condition. So now we have one of my favorite books of all time. It's actually my favorite trilogy. It's Ever Lost, Ever Found, and there's one other. Ever wild, that's one I keep forgetting. Duh. So yeah, as you can tell, this is clearly a scratch and dent book. So that's Ever Lost, which is book one, which I got for a dollar forty nine as a scratch and dent book. So yeah, you can tell clearly it has been bent badly right up there. 
a zip black mark at the bottom, which I'm sure is how they probably mark the scratch and dents. Um, definitely has been bent up. But other than that, like the cover itself is fine. This is fine. It's really mainly just that. I don't really see any of the scratches or marks really. But yeah, so this is my favorite trilogy, one of them at least. So it begins with an accident. Nick and Allie don't survive the crash, and now their souls are stuck halfway between life and death in a sort of limbo called Everlost. It's a magical yet dangerous place where bonds, brands of lost souls run wild and anyone who stands in the same spot too long sinks into the center of the earth. For it to determine, Nick and Allie aren't ready to rest in peace just yet. They want their lives back, and their research for a way home will take them deep into the uncharted areas of Everlost. But the longer they stay, the more they forget about their past, and if all memory of home is lost, they may never escape their strange, terrible world. Kissing in, it, in Italian. Is there such a thing as a perfect summer? Violet Rutledge never expected to fall in love during her summer study program in Italy. I'm going to Italy this summer. I'll make another video about that soon. Let alone with a boy she can never have. Violet is immersed in Italian culture and history. She's making new friends and they're all meeting hot local guys, which is a dream come true. But for Violet, what begins is a lighthearted romance for handsome aristocrat Louis de... Vespari develops into something deeper. For the first time, Violet understands the real meaning of the world. Uh, real meaning. Me, me, the world, and more. Uh, the word, and more. But for now, Violet and Luca must stay apart. A shocking family secret has surfaced, and if proven true, it would mean the two must never be a couple. Violet needs her new girlfriends more than ever, but she and Luca need each other, and they are desperate for answers. Read about how Violet and Luca first met. And flirting in Italian. So that's normally $10. And... Kissing... It is a scratch and dent book for a dollar forty nine. I see a little uh, bin right there. You can see right along here. Um, a little yellowing at the corner, and then of course the black dot at the bottom. But overall, is in really great condition. Also, I wanted to mention because I definitely forgot on the Everlast book. It's normally twelve dollars, and because I got it as a Scratch and dent. I got it for a dollar forty nine. An Irish country wedding. This is a pretty thick book. Love is in the air in the colorful Ulster village of Babala Black Blue, where Dr. Fingal. Flarty O'Reilly has finally proposed to the darling of his youth, Kitty O'Hallerhan. There's a wedding to be planned, but before O'Reilly can make it to the altar, he and his young colleague, Barry Leverty, M.B., must deal with crises both large and small. Chief among these is the sudden illness of Kinky Kincaid, the doctor's housekeeper. With Kinky ailing, the whole village relies to make sure the two bachelors don't starve to death, O'Reilly's. Make sure the whole... Um, bachelors don't starve to death. Even as Kinky frets about being replaced now that O'Reilly is taking a wife, easing the troubled housekeeper's mind is going to be a challenge. Being a GP in a place that Babo Buck Blue often means more than t just tending to aches and pains. A doctor might find himself helping a struggling young couple acquire their first home, clearing it the name of a cat accused of prying on a neighbor's prize racing pigeons, or encouraging a bright working class girl who dreams of becoming a doctor herself, and if you're Barry Laverty, there might even be a chance for a new romance with a lovely school teacher if her passionate political convictions don't get in the way. So normally this book is $16. And I got it as a bargain book for $1.49.
The Summer of Everything. Two irresistible stories about how sometimes leaving home can be the best way to find yourself. And picture perfect, Emily can't wait to spend her summer on the beautiful beaches of the Outer Banks, North Carolina. It has been two years since she went on a trip with her three closest childhood friends. Two years that she's hoping will erase the memory of the last time she saw Spencer, the boy who broke her heart. And what better way to forget about Spencer than to have the perfect summer fling with Blake, the boy living in a beach house next door. But embarking on a new romance is more difficult than she expected when her feelings of her first love aren't exactly a thing of the past. And wish you were here, Ariel is embarking on the summer vacation of a lifetime. At least she hopes this is the only trip she'll ever take, stuck on America's Heartland bus tour with her family, leaving her amazing boyfriend back home and maintaining her track team endurance is sprinting through rest stop parking lots. Who could survive four weeks of that? But as she spends more time with the intriguing, also miserable and Andrea, Ariel begins to learn that sometimes you just have to give up to go where the road takes you, even if the tour bus won't. That's normally $10, so that seems to be two books and one. And... That one as a scratch and dent for $1.89. So let's look. Of course, there's a black mark like always. A little bend right there. Um, the top of it definitely does have some little couple spots that are messed up. Page itself are pretty fine. No yellowing. So yeah, just a little, little bit of cosmetic issues. So this one is the Queen of Water. Born in Andu Village in Ecuador, Virginia lives with her large family in a small earthen wall dwelling. In her village of indigenous, it is uncommon to work in the fields all day, even as a child, or to be called a longo tanta, stupid Italian by members of the ruling class. Uh, Masitos, her Spanish descendants, when the seven-year-old Virginia is taken from her village to be a servant to a Masito couple, she has no idea what the future holds. Virginia quickly grows accustomed to the conventions, conveniences of the luxuries of Masito's life, but promised pay, but promised pay and visits to her family are quickly forgotten, and as is her boss's pledge to send her to school, beaten and told that the sole purpose of her indigenous girl is to survive is to serve. Virginia must fight to hold on to her spirit and humor. She teaches herself to read and write and perform service, uh, perform science experiments in a secret. When Virginia's only friend betrays her, she must gather her courage and escape. But once she's found her freedom, will Virginia, now a teenager caught between cultures, also find, find a place where she belongs? In this pogment novel based on a true story, acclaim Arthur Laura Rasu has collaborated with Maria Virginia Ferranego to recount one girl's unforgettable journey of self-discovery. Normally it is $10 and I got it for $0.49 cents as a bargain book. So perfectly fine book. Uh, so that's all for this video. Uh, please watch my other videos. Um, to see my entire order, I bought quite a lot of books. Um, and then I'll also have follow-up videos on the ones that are left. Thank you so much. Please like and subscribe.